Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today I am so excited because we are going to do a full face of classic Chanel products. And I am doubly excited because this video is sponsored by Nordstrom. As many of you know, I live in the Pacific Northwest and Nordstrom is where I shop. So this is a win-win because I get to collaborate with Nordstrom as well as showcase one of my favorite beauty brands, Chanel. So today we're going to be using all Chanel products. I'm going to be doing a classic Chanel look. It started out as sort of a uh, clean girl look and then I feel like it ended up becoming more of a soft glam look. Once I got to the lips, I was having fun sharing some of my favorite Chanel lip combos, including a red. So I feel like it ended up morphing into a bit of a soft glam Chanel look. But regardless, we're going to be focusing on the classics today. So if you are interested in seeing how I created this look using all Chanel products, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we need to put some makeup on this face. And today I'm so excited because we are going to be highlighting basically classic Chanel products that I absolutely love. You will have seen many of these products used on my channel before. I'm gonna be creating sort of a clean girl classic Chanel look today. And we're first gonna start out with one of my new favorite products that I discovered this summer. And this is the Chanel UV Essential. This is their SPF 50 and they had reformulated the sunscreen and I just completely fell in love with it partly because it is super hydrating but also it has absolutely no white cast. I'm going to bring it out just like this so you will see it there but as I apply this to my skin and I'm just going to come through here and you will see that it is literally going to melt into my skin and it is not going to leave any white cast, but it is like the perfect everyday sunscreen. And I'm just going to come over here. And with sunscreen, you should do at least two fingers. Um, I do like a pea size or two finger loads of SPF. And I'm just going to make sure I get my neck and the back of the ears. It is just such a great hydrating SPF. And I've just been loving it underneath makeup because it is going to sink in and it's just going to be like the perfect base. So if you haven't tried the Chanel UV Essential SPF, definitely recommend it. Okay, for foundation, I am going to talk about three different ones that I rotate through heavily. So for days when I want just a light, sheer coverage, something that is going to look very healthy and natural, I am going to use the La Beige Water Fresh Tint absolutely love this product. It is one of my favorites. I feel like it makes my skin very angelic. And this product just does a little magic on the skin, but it is not going to have a ton of coverage. Now the next one that I really love and that we're going to put on today, I needed to pick it up in a new shade, but this is the La Beige Healthy Glow Foundation. I feel like this one is a little underrated. I really love it because I love a light to medium coverage foundation with a little bit of glow and that's exactly what this is in a bottle. And then on days when I want a little extra coverage or if I am wanting a little bit more of a flawless finish, I'm going to reach for the Ultra La Tente. And I have to admit, this is sort of the best all around foundation. This is what I often travel with because it is a soft matte 
and it just works well in many different like weather situations. So if I'm traveling to the south where it is a bit more humid, um, I find that my glowy foundations that work great here in the Pacific Northwest I might be a little too dewy in that weather, the more humid weather. So I just love Ultra Laton. And I will also bring along one of my La Beige, this the Sheer Healthy Glow Highlighting Fluid. And I love it in basically pearly glow as well as sun kissed. These are amazing. And I will put a pump in my more matte foundation just to give myself a little extra healthy glow. You have seen and heard me use this combination on camera many, many times, as well as the Le Beige Water Fresh Tint. So today we're gonna actually use the Le Beige. This is the Healthy Glow Foundation. And I am going to use this in the shade BR22. I had already owned this in BR32, which was just a teeny hair dark. So let me show you the shade BR22. Just tends to be like my perfect match here. And I'm trying to eke out a little bit of this summer look. So I am going to use the Sun Kiss today. And I'm just going to do a little pump there. And I love to mix these into my foundation. And then I am going to pop that on my skin. This light to medium coverage foundation infuses your skin with the radiance of a day spent in the great outdoors. This liquid formulation lasts up to 12 hours and features a weightless, silky texture and luminous finish for a healthy looking glow. There is light reflecting pigments that are going to smooth and enhance the look of skin while antioxidants help protect against pollution, free radicals, and blue light. Okay. Here is what this foundation looks like. It is super hydrating. I love the healthy glow that it gives me. And it has a very like silky texture that sort of sinks into the skin. And it just looks better as the day goes on. And again, today we're just kind of doing a sort of clean girl look, focusing on that healthy, glowy complexion and I feel like that is what this foundation does in a bottle and this one I don't feel like gets talked about as much as some of these others so I wanted to highlight this foundation and I have just been loving on it lately next I'm going to put on the classic Le Corrector from Chanel This is a gel-based concealer that works fantastic underneath the eyes because I feel like it kind of moves with the skin. So it doesn't necessarily like sink into your wrinkles. It's just a really fantastic all around concealer. So I'm just gonna put a little bit just where I need it in that dark kind of area up here and a little bit over on the outer side here. Using my fingers first, I'm just gonna kinda pat this in to the skin. canceling out some of that redness and darkness. And then I'm gonna warm up the skin, another classic from Chanel that does not disappoint. And that is the Le Beige Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. This is a long time favorite. And what I love about it is that it really is gonna give you a little warmth on the skin, but it is again gonna look super natural. And I just like to take a synthetic brush here and I am going to buff this on to the skin. And 
And another reason I love this is because I use it year round. It just warms up the skin, but it looks very natural. Um, in the summer, I may add more bronzer to my skin, but when I'm getting into the fall and winter months, I will still be able to use this to warm up my skin, but it just gives such a natural look. It doesn't look like I'm necessarily trying to fake tan during the winter months. Now, a new product that I picked up is they just reformulated the Le Beige Healthy Glow Sheer Powder. I have the old version right here. And I was so excited because when I was at the Chanel counter, basically they had just launched this powder. We're gonna unbox here. And basically they have reformulated this powder. They have made it refillable as well. This product is going to impart a natural looking healthy glow. It offers a lightweight formula and this sheer healthy glow powder is going to impart a blurring effect. This is also infused with this jasmine flower oil that is supposed to hydrate the skin. And when I was at the counter, they were highlighting this foundation in this powder because this also can give you a little extra coverage as well. So I wanted to go ahead and try it because the texture felt a little bit different than the original. This was always a fine powder. If you watch my channel, you know I'm not a huge powder girl, but I do like a little to set everything. And I noticed they also had expanded the shade range. And so this is the old version. And when I was swatching it, it just had a much silkier kind of texture. That's what I prefer. And I was just a little bit excited about it. So it is refillable and it comes with its own little brush, just like this. I'm actually gonna be using my Chanel number 110 brush. And we are just going to powder down and set everything before we move on to simple eyes. So I want to keep this glow going, but I want to take down just a teeny bit of the shine, make sure everything is set. Okay, here is what this powder looks like. And I'm actually really liking this. I don't know if you can see on camera, but it almost just sort of made my skin, I still have a little bit of glow going on, but it made it a little bit more velvety. Um, and I do feel like it's gonna set that makeup because that is a little bit more of a glowy hydrating foundation. And so I feel like those two in combination work great together, but I am excited about that powder, especially for travel. I like to um, take a pressed powder versus the um, other classic from Chanel, which is the Poudre Universelle Libra. And this is a great powder, but this one is going to be a bit more matte. So on my more mature dry skin. I've always preferred the sheer healthy glow powder for myself. So I'm glad I picked up that powder because my old one honestly feels like a little bit like dried out. It's probably too old. I need to get it away, but I will tell you there is definitely a difference um, between the feel of it because when I swatched the new one it just felt creamier whereas this one felt always just a little I wouldn't say chalky necessarily but now when I actually touch this one it's just smoother I don't know if you could even see on my finger here's my old version and then the new one and it just is like really smooth and silky so I'm really excited about this one and I am going on a trip so that's what I'm going to take with me. Okay, I am loving that powder. It is really beautiful on the skin. And now I wanna pop on a little blush, kind of give a little life to my skin. And I was trying to figure out the most classic color from Chanel and I ended up pulling out my 
rose bronze because I just feel like this is going to be such a universal color that so many people are going to like. Chanel's been known for their powder blushes for years because they are pigmented, long lasting, and I just love this rose bronze. I also love rose acne. Cron. I just felt like this one would be one that a lot of people would like so you can't go wrong with their blushes and I just kind of want to give myself a little lift here a little color on the cheeks and then we will move on to a simple eye look okay Put a little bit of color back into the face. Let's do a really simple, clean eye look today. And I wanted to highlight what I feel like are a little bit underrated eyeshadows from Chanel. These are the Ombre Premier Single Shadows. They are so good and I feel like they don't get talked about enough. So I wanted to highlight them because again, if you've watched my channel, you will know that I absolutely love Talpa. It is the perfect taupe color here, but I have fallen in love with Sable and it is such a perfect like clean girl eye color. I just love it so much and I wanted to highlight that today. So honestly these single shadows are just so creamy and beautiful and they are very long lasting and if you are somebody who likes a very simple one and done eye look I think you would love these shadows. They're just perfection. I would love for Chanel to sort of add on some more colors. Maybe that will come this year. But let me bring you in a little closer and we're gonna kind of create a very simple eye look using this and a little bronzer in the crease. I'm first taking a little bit of Chanel bronzer in medium and I am using the dual ended eyeshadow brush in number 200. I love it because one side is going to be kind of a fluffy end and then the other is a little bit more flat edged. So I'm just taking the bronzer and I'm just going to put some of that bronzer right in my crease. just to add a little bit of depth to the eyes here. Then I'm gonna come in with this beautiful color in Sable. I am just in love with this one. And I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna put this basically all over that mobile lid. Okay, this is what I've created on my eyes so far. That is sable along with a little bit of the bronzer. So I want to keep the eye relatively clean and I'm going to intensify the lash line here using my ultimate favorite eyeliners. And these are the Stilo Youth Waterproof Eyeliners. And I pulled out my eyeliner in a Bean, which is a softer black eyeliner for this kind of simple eye look. I wanted a little bit of impact near the lashes, but I didn't quite want to go with deep dark black. I thought about pulling out Espresso, but I wanted just a little bit more impact and I find that the Abid is the perfect one. It's not too sharp, I would say. It's just a little bit softer, but you're going to get some nice impact on the eyes. So I am going to come here and I am going to 
kind of wiggle through the upper lash line with this eyeliner. Wiggle through close to the lash line. And then I will intensify a little bit here on the outer, just upper third here. Again, I want to keep this relatively clean looking, so I'm going to kind of blend that out in a second. I'm going to come over here. I'm just softly coming here and lifting that little slight wing. My eyes are more downturned, so they don't necessarily do a wing, but I did want some emphasis near that lash line, and I feel like that color just makes your eyes pop just a bit. We want to keep this kind of nice, clean, but impact. Okay, we've got a little bit of reflection on the eye, a little definition as well. And then I'm going to use the classic Chanel La Base. This is an awesome product to coat your lashes. It actually helps kind of nourish them. So this is one of these products that I need to use more often. Whenever I use this and then I'm going to top it with the classic Chanel Volume de Chanel Mascara. My eyelashes just look a little bit glam. It's basically a base coat. This is a little extra. You don't have to do that but I find that whenever I use this um, my lashes just look so much longer. They just look so much fluffier. Give them a lot of volume and so I wanted to pull that out and use it because it is such a good product product and I literally need to use it more. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start by coating the lashes with this and it just helps sort of separate the lashes, primes them for the mascara. I'm trying to get at the base of the lashes and try not to make weird faces but we both know I'm going to. <laughs> can see I have that on my lashes. You're going to let that dry for a second. I pulled out the classic Chanel Volume de Chanel Mascara. I do not know how many tubes I have gone through of this mascara. It is a sort of classic for a reason. It is always going to perform. It is going to volumize your lashes. I just feel like it lengthens, volumizes, pretty much does it all. And this is a mascara that I always go back to because it's just a classic, such a good one. I always know I'm going to be happy with the results using this mascara. Okay, we have eyes on, love that mascara. And then I am gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of highlight. And I absolutely love these Balm Essentials. I have several of them in pretty much all the colors. Today I just pulled out the classic Sculpt because this is your beautiful champagne color that is going to just give you a little bit of that healthy glass skin look on the highlights of your cheeks, anywhere you want it. It's just so buttery and creamy and I just really love this. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and I'm just gonna kind of put it right on top 
of my cheeks here and just kind of pat that in. These are just so versatile, so good. They look great on the lips too. So I'm gonna put some over here. We wanna keep that kind of healthy glow going. So pretty. So I wanted to mention these because I just feel like you can't go wrong with the colors. They're so pretty. And again, you can use it on your lips. We'll go ahead. They're just a great all-purpose kind of product. So wanted to mention those, keeping that glow on. Speaking of glow, I'm gonna be really glowy today because I want to set everything with one of my favorite little essence mists ever. This is the Hydra Beauty Essence Mist. This stuff is so amazing. I just repurchased a bottle. Um, this one is literally going to give you this really pretty hydrating glow. I don't think I need it right now, but I wanted to show you it in action. And it comes in this bottle just like this. It has this very fine mist to it, so that's why I like it. It doesn't come on too much. It's a great way to refresh your makeup through the day. Um, it also helps kind of keep the frizzies away in your hair. So I'm just going to do a little spray here. Mm. This feels so good, so hydrating. So if you're somebody who has dry skin, you are gonna love this. It is just very refreshing. So I'm going to, clearly I am going to be glowing today. Now we're gonna play with some lip combos. I actually really love the classic. This is just the Rouge Coco Lipstick. This is the moisturizing classic one. I really love this formula because it's creamy, it is a satin finish, and some of my favorite colors are within the classic Rouge Cocos. And I thought I would just go and do a few lip swatches with you all. Okay, so two of my favorite lip liners from Chanel. Um, are these two right here. These would be the ones I wear the most. This is the one I love the most, Pavone. It's a good nude with a little touch of kind of mauve pink in it. And then I have Rose Natural, which is a great nude color for myself. So I often like to wear a lip liner and then one of their Rouge Coco glosses. So I'm going to show you a combination with that. But for a classic Chanel nude look, I'm going to start with the Rose Natural and we're going to top it off with Adrian, which is like the perfect nude. I just love this color so much. This is Adrian, and I'm going to be pairing it with Rose Natural. You could do it with this one, but as you can see, it's a little bit deeper. So I want to kind of keep it in that same nude color here. So I'm first going to just line my lips with the lip liners. And these were reformulated I want to say like a year or two ago and they are much creamier and I actually liked the old version too but these are nice and creamy long lasting and then I'm going to top this with Adrian. And here is Adrian with Rose Natural. The next shade that everybody needs is the classic Mademoiselle. This was probably my very first lipstick that I ever purchased from Chanel. And again, I don't know how many tubes I have gone through of Mademoiselle throughout the years because it's just such a perfect color. So I'm going to be pairing it with my personal favorite lip line color, which is Pavone. And I feel like they go very well together.
and this is Mademoiselle. And then you can't do a Chanel video without doing a classic red lip. And the ultimate red, I feel like the classic one from Chanel is Pirate. So this is number 99. This is in the Rouge Allure formula. So if you are a red lipstick wearer, this is the one to pick up. It is like basically universally flattering. And the way that I like to wear this one is a little bit kind of dabbed on just because I don't personally have big juicy lips. And so I will just sort of come in and I really love this color. So I will kind of dab this on and then use my finger to sort of blur it out. It is such a good red. So I'm actually feeling a little bit glam with this red lipstick. I don't know if I would call it clean girl. This may be more uh, French look, like that kind of cleaner look on the eyes, a little bit of a focus on the complexion, a little bit glowy, and then that red lip that's gonna stand out a bit. And then we're gonna put on a lip that I personally love because I'm more of a gloss girl and Chanel's Rouge Coco glosses are one of the best. So let me take this off and then we'll do my personal favorite lip. Okay, I'm gonna take my favorite lip liner in Pivon and I'm just going to line my lips and I like to kind of fill them in a little bit with this color. and then take Rouge Coco Gloss, and this is in Melted Honey, and I feel like everybody needs this shade. This just is so transformative on the lips. I'm gonna give you a little swatch. I'm hoping it'll show up, but it is not necessarily a gold gloss here. It's almost like it picks up different tones in the lips. I love it because it does a little bit something magical on the lips. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just top this on top of that lip liner and it becomes like my perfect color here. It's got enough color. I've got a little color on my lips but it just makes my lips um, look a little bit bigger. It's super hydrating. I just love this color on its own. It's just going to give you a nice little wash. But again, it's got some reflection in there. So it's just like pretty. It kind of picks up whatever is at the tone of your lips and makes it better. So if you're going to get one thing from Chanel, I would highly recommend this Melted Honey Lip Gloss. If you are somebody who loves a little bit of a shinier lip, I find it to be a little bit softer on my more mature lips then I think you would absolutely love this one. And of course, we're going to end with a Chanel fragrance. The classic that I like is the Chanel Number no. 5 Eau Premier Formula. This to me is a little bit more modern than the actual Chanel Number no. 5. It's got a touch more creaminess in it, a touch more vanilla, and to me it's just sort of the modern take of number five. So if you're somebody who thinks you do not like Chanel number five, I would definitely get my nose on Eau Premier. This one's just sort of an easy everyday fragrance, but today I am feeling a little bit like Gabrielle Chanel, and I actually have the Parfum version of this. This is the most sensual interpretation of Gabrielle Chanel fragrance. I'm going to go ahead and put some of this on. It is just stunning. This is a luminous floral composition. This includes jasmine, ylang-ylang, 
orange blossom and tuberose. This is one of the most captivating tuberose fragrances I own. It is just pure elegance, pure class. This is the fragrance I'm going to reach for when I want to feel a little bit more elevated. But what I love about this is that I can wear it with a white t-shirt and jeans, as well as a very fancy dress and heels as well. It is just so gorgeous. And if you are a tuberose lover, you definitely need to try this version. I find it to be just a little bit richer, denser, not quite as powdery as the original. This one's a little bit juicier, a little bit more potent. Definitely the most sensual version of this perfume. It is definitely special. A little goes a long way, but it is just so elegant and I absolutely love it. So this is my final look, doing a full face of classic Chanel products. This is just one of my favorite brands and it was so exciting to collaborate with Nordstrom. You can pick up everything I use today at Nordstrom. I will link everything below. As usual, I love to hear from you. What are your favorite Chanel products? What's your ride or die? Let me know down below in the comment section. And thank you for watching and I will be back with another video soon.